The United States can strike North Korean troops in Ukraine. Kim Jong-un has launched another intercontinental ballistic missile. At the same time, Kamala Harris has small advantage over Donald Trump. So why is U.S. congressman calling the White House to strike North Korean troops in Ukraine? And uh, what are the chances of both candidates on the U.S. general election? House Intelligence Committee Chairman Michael Turner said that the U.S. should seriously consider taking direct military actions against North Korean troops in Ukraine. He repeated his statement, which has been made even before. He said that the U.S. should act and respond to the escalation in cooperation between North Korea and Russia. According to the U.S. government and U.S. intelligence agency, 8,000 North Korean troops are already being deployed to the Kursk region to fight against Ukrainian troops alongside with the Russian forces. However, the White House, the U.S. government, has not yet responded to this escalation. We have already, we have only heard uh, one statement from the U.S. President Joe Biden. He said that it was really dangerous escalation. However, he also said that U uh, Ukraine could strike these North Korean troops, uh, which would attack Ukraine. However, we haven't heard and haven't seen any kind of uh, retaliation from the United States and uh, respond to this uh, growing cooperation between the members of Axis of Evil, the North Korea and Russia. However, Michael Turner said that uh, North Korean deployment to Russia should be a red line for the Russian government. That's why the United States should seriously consider taking direct military action striking North Korean troops in Ukraine. Also, Michael Turner said that the US should allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia with Western-made weapons. President Biden still hesitates to allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia. That's why Michael Turner says that it would be really important for Ukraine to receive this authorization to use uh, deep strikes inside Russia. There are some hopes that President Biden could allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia after the U.S. general election. However, Ukraine cannot wait so long because Ukraine fights war against uh, Russia. Uh, Ukraine uh, defend itself against the Russian aggression. That's why Ukraine needs this authorization right now to strike back and to destroy Russian troops attacking Ukraine. Also, House Intelligence Committee Chairman uh, Michael Turner said that uh, the U.S. should better coordinate its allies in responding to the growing axis of evil. Uh, the axis of evil is now uh, has been created as, as the axis of evil consists of Russia, Iran, North Korea and China. That's why Michael Turner also urged Israel to destroy Iranian uh, nuclear sites, to destroy uh, Iranian um, our, our other means of where our Shahed drones, uh, where our Shahed drones produced. So uh, he urged the United States to better coordinate our allies and to uh, strike uh, directly, uh, directly military for facilities where uh, Shahed drones are produced. That's why. Uh, this uh, action could help Ukraine's war effort and who could help Ukraine to better defend itself against the Russian aggression. Also, Mike Turner urged uh, either administration, Biden, Harris or Trump to um, try to not to de-escalate, but to uh, resolve conflicts and to make uh, really good decisions, to make bold decisions and to help Ukraine to defend itself against uh, a Russian aggression. Meanwhile, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said that even uh, dispatch of the North Korean troops to Russia would not help Vladimir Putin to win the war in Ukraine. Lloyd Austin is confident that uh, the North Korean deployment of, to Ukraine and to Russia and the deployment of the North Korean troops to Russia uh, will not help Vladimir Putin to prevail in Ukraine and to win the war because Ukraine is being supported by Western allies and by the United States, the most powerful country and the most powerful military power in the world. And that's why Lord Austin said that even this decision from North Korea would not like, would not help Vladimir Putin to prevail. 
Uh, at the same time, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky criticized Western, re Western response to the North Korean deployment to Ukraine. He said that there is a zero response from the United States and its allies. And he's right, because Biden administration has not responded to the North Koreans' actions. Kim Jong-un just continues to deploy even more troops from North Korea to Russia. Although uh, some of the representatives of the foreign ministry of the North Korea said that they would strongly support Russia's war effort in Ukraine and Russia's war against Ukraine, that's why President Biden and his administration fails to properly respond to this escalation and this his hesitancy just allows and let Kim Jong-un to continue to do uh, anything that he wants in the world, continue to support Russia's war effort and to deploy even more North Korean troops as a cannon fodder to Ukraine. Uh, that's why uh, the US should respond, should uh, directly strike North Korean troops or make other bold decisions to, to help Ukraine to defend itself against two major powers which are uh, fighting the war against Ukraine, Russia and uh, North Korea. Also, there have been some confirmations and there are 8,000 North Korean troops are already in the Kursk region. CNN previously reported that they are deployed uh, 50 uh, kilometers uh, from the front line in the Kursk region. However, President Zelensky is confident that they will participate in uh, fightings in the battlefield in a war against Ukraine in a couple of days. It's a question of days when North Korean troops will start to attack Ukrainian troops there and Ukrainian uh, sovereign territory. Also, Canada is trying to negotiate uh, US authorization to use long-range strike inside Russia. Canada has been lobbying Ukraine's effort to allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia and that's why President Biden still hesitates to do so, but Canada will try to help Ukraine to do that and will try to help Ukraine to defend itself better against the Russian threat. Also, Kim Jong-un has launched another intercontinental ballistic missile. The United States has responded by uh, providing by doing military exercise, but this Biden's hesitant, hesitancy to respond, to properly respond to this escalation that just allows Kim Jong-un to continue to threaten the, to threaten the world, to threaten the West and to uh, continue to bargain something and to continue to threaten South Korea. That's why so yes, should respond, respond properly and allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia or do other uh, serious questions, serious matters and to make other serious, serious decisions. And in the end of our conversation, we would like also to cover the yes general election. So Kamala Harris had a small lead over Donald Trump, according to The Hill. So The Hill reported that Kamala Harris has a lead over, over Trump in, four, in three swing states. So <clears throat> Donald Trump, Harris is ahead of Donald Trump by 3% in Michigan and by 2% in Pennsylvania and uh, Wisconsin. The US general election will take place uh, on the 5th November and we will know about the results in the couple of days after the US the US, the U.S. general election. However, we will stay in touch with you and we'll cover and analyze uh, the recent news from the U.S. general election and the U.S. internal politics. That's all for today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, save with us on YouTube and uh, glory to Ukraine!